Hello everybody, I've got a mathematical card trick for you today, so I'm going to use mathematics to predict a card. First of all, let's shuffle the pack. Now I've got no fancy shuffle, so I'll just do something like this. And I'm going to split the pack into two halves, two halves of 26 cards. That's not the mathematical bit. So let's split the pack into two halves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, just tidy those up. Put those over there because we don't need them for now. I'm going to use this half of the pack and I can shuffle it if I want to make three piles and then count up to ten. So three piles, count up to ten. Picture cards count as ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. If I add up the values of the card, what have I got? I've got Jack is a ten, uh, 15, 22. Okay, I'm going to predict the 22nd card in the pile. Well, We've got uh, three piles here, so I'm going to say the card is a nine, and what the rightmost is diamond. We've got two spades, diamond. Okay, so I'm going to say it's a diamond. So I'm going to say that the 22nd card in the pack is the nine of diamonds. Okay, let's do it. Let's take the pack and count out the 22nd card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. The twenty-second card is the nine of diamonds. Let's have a look. And it is. And that's how you use mathematics to predict a card. So if you have been, thanks for watching.